I'm Ed Crane, Clean Skies TV in Sacramento with the National Biomethane Summit. Dee Dee Diadamo is with the California Air Resources Board. She's just delivered a presentation, and you are, pardon the pun, bullish on biomethane. Yes, we are, definitely. We're here today to talk about um, innovative solutions uh, to our climate change uh, challenges in California, and we see that biomethane is an important piece in um, the mix of alternative fuels that we need um, as we go forward. The big issue, as you mentioned, is money. Uh, how much is available? How long will it take to, to get this system up and running so that it's really viable for much of the country? Right. Well, there's, um, there's two ways to meet the challenge of cost. First of all, there are significant uh, state dollars that the biomethane industry has already tapped into. And so that's enabled us to get some demonstration projects online and to see that the, these projects truly are viable. Uh, but they are costly. There's, the, you know, even with uh, the state in incentive dollars, it's costly. So uh, we are hoping that um, with the climate change legislation, the energy bill that the Congress is about to adopt, that we'll see some additional funding on the federal side as well. So um, incentive dollars is an important first piece. Second piece is credits. There are real opportunities for this industry uh, to maximize uh, the benefits of our low carbon fuel standard. This is a regulation that our board adopted that requires a reduction in the carbon of the carbon intensity for all fuels in California. So uh, traditional fuels, gas and diesel, are going to have to reduce their carbon intensity. If they are not able to, you know, this is based on a refiner by refiner basis and their business plan um, and whether or not it pencils out for them to meet the standard by adopting changes on its refinery. If it does not, then our, our regulation provides the flexibility for uh, the fuels industry to purchase credits from other uh, fuel providers such as biomethane and other alternative fuel producers. So we see that this industry will be able to tap into some of those credits and that will bring down the costs of operating the, this project. Is there stimulus money available uh, or are you chasing it? Um, I believe that stimulus uh, money is available. That wasn't the subject of the talk today, but um, I'd be happy to provide some additional information to you. But um, stimulus money um, is available. I be I Federal dollars are available. I, I, I don't know what uh, tag I'd put on them, but um, the, there are several different pieces to um, these systems, uh, these biomethane systems. First of all, there needs to be a system to collect, collect and trap the gases. Um, I believe a lot of uh, state dollars have gone towards uh, the reduction in those costs. I believe the federal dollars, as much as 43 million, I'm not uh, positive on this, but would be on the second stage, and that is collecting the the gas after it's already been trapped by these digesters and then converting them into converting the gases into something that is uh, quality gas that meets California fuel standards. And then the third piece is uh, the trucks. For example, we heard today from um, a couple of dairies and uh, uh, landfill sites that they're collecting these uh, gases converting them on site and then fueling their trucks. Um, a typical long haul truck can cost as much as $180,000. So that we're, we're hoping that with additional incentive dollars it can bring the cost down, get the number of trucks purchased to go up and that will also help to bring the cost down. 